Jesus. They're forming unions now. Bezos is gonna have my ass. I am so fucking pissed at you. I told you not to open that chest in the basement! What? What chest? Oh, um... What seems to be the trouble, fellow Humo sapien? My problem is I try to do something nice, like set you up with that girl from my philosophy class, and you go and get drunk and call this girl Big Bird? Hey, some people think Big Bird is hot. I don't, but maybe children? You can't complain all the time about being single and then purposely sabotage every chance you get at being in a relationship. I don't want a relationship. I want to have angry conversations and to kiss people's neck bones. Is that so wrong? Look, if you want to just hook up with people, go back on Tinder. Ah, oh, but Tinder is the worst. It's not the worst. It uses algorithms and shit to get you laid. You've never even been on Tinder. Oh yeah, but it's like animated porn. I get the concept. I just have no need. You have to be a certain type of person to do well on Tinder. Desperate? Female. What's the difference? <laughs> Sorry about that. The problem with being a guy on Tinder is that you're like a dog in the window of a pet store. Gals walk through and enjoy the intention you give them, but will always find a reason not to adopt. Are you saying that women want to fuck dogs? Too energetic and you're a handful. Too chill and you're boring. And if you so much as try to bite one of their shoes, back to the shelter with ya! Did you try to eat that poor girl's shoes? Dinner was taking forever, Ryan! Look, I hear what you're saying, but isn't it all only fair? I mean, with the whole sexual assault thing and the general oppression, the least we could do is let them be picky when it comes to which one of us disappoints them. No, I absolutely agree. 50,000 years of mistreatment, the least they've earned is a slight advantage in online dating. Yeah, I kind of think we should apologize for that Seinfeld bit. What Seinfeld bit? The base, you just said, what did you do what what the base? What bothers me is the way these girls talk on Tinder, with this weird sense of entitlement. Like, look at this. That girl has five pictures of just her face with the rabbit filter on it. And her bio is, don't waste my time. Like, I'm sorry to mess up your hijinks, Bugs Bunny. Uh, what's up, Doc? Oh, I'm so sorry. This usually never happens. Moving past that. Look, I know that these girls might not be exactly your type per se, but isn't something better than nothing? Like, if I was singling on Tinder, I probably would have broken my penis by now. Yeah, but that's you. You get to break your penis because you're handsome. No, no you're not you're handsome enough to break your penis. No, I'm not, but that's okay. I don't need to be handsome the way you are. I've got my own thing going on, which occasionally tracks sociopaths and born-again Christians. My problem is this toxic, self-inflicted pressure to settle for any girl that pays me interest because I know how rare it is for one to like me. Oh, wow. Um... Uh, well, don't take that now. Yep. These are kind of getting a little real, huh? It's only the ones you write, man. Yeah, I guess I don't have a lot of emotional outlets, do I? Kind of makes you wish that we were women. You mean, like, disregarding the oppression, right? Uh, no, I don't want to deal with any of that. Oh, yeah, totally. Everyone would be much more impressed by me. Yeah. I'm gonna go, uh, call my girlfriend to apologize. Ask how she liked the Looney Tunes bit. <laughs> 